Hi, Farhan. Aryamanya. Uh, since this is an N8 and AIDS campaign, how often and frequently do you do an AIDS test? And uh, have you actually encountered or met any of the AIDS patients? Um, well, I mean, I do uh, an overall health checkup as advised by my doctor once every couple of years. That also includes doing uh, an HIV. Test your blood for everything, including HIV. Um, but that apart, I, I do have people, um, I of course don't want to take names of people here, but I do know people who uh, are living with the HIV virus. There are a couple of people also employed by me uh, that have the HIV virus. Um, but the fact is that, I mean, you can continue to live a normal life as long as there's no stigma attached to it. And that's one of the biggest battles, actually, that we as a people have had to deal with, is just coming to terms with the fact that it's, it's just another disease. Yes, of course, it requires another kind of treatment, another kind of cure. But the stigma is very, very huge that's been attached to it. And that's uh, something that has to be gotten rid of as well. OK, uh, one question for the brand people is that uh, what kind of budgets have you kept for the Indian market as far as the campaign is concerned? So, uh, you know, we are starting a campaign from today onwards. Uh, it will be heavily digital focused. Uh, it's because most of our audience is uh, contactable through digital today. So, and this campaign will go on at least about three to four months from today onwards. And we are expecting, uh, you know, good kind of traction coming in because this is for a noble cause. And we hope to do good numbers because each unit sold, $50 goes on to charity. So that's our interest in it. Every outlet, every dealership of ours will have a mini launch happening on the first so, uh, sold uh, Vespa Red, uh, and uh, that's our plan. Yeah, Farhan, uh, here, I'm Raj here. What's the USP of this uh, Vespa Red? What is the USP? USP. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, in really in terms of, I mean, AUC, how it looks, just to start with, I think that's a big USP of it. Secondly, um, I think just given, at least I can speak for Mumbai, getting around in Mumbai, a two-wheeler is definitely more useful than being in a car. That's the second thing. Um, as far as, I guess, fuel economies and things go, there are people very well more, um, more literate about these things to share all that information with you. But I think the biggest USP, as, as he, they've just answered here, is that $50 of each sale will go towards dealing with the HIV uh, virus um, cause. Um, and that, to me, is probably bigger you know, a USP than, than anything else can be as far as the purchase of this scooter is concerned. Yeah, hi, Farhan. Yeah. Yeah, over here. Yes, to the left. I wanted to know whether this, uh, this Vespa is, uh, like, how safe it is for the women drivers, like, especially in Mumbai. Ma'am, I think if you have a license and you wear a helmet, it's safe. No, no, but uh, Mumbai <laughs> roads are like, <laughs> so mostly women don't drive. In other cities, they do drive. Uh, right, but we are, we are speaking about another... Uh, um, another uh, issue altogether. Safety features are more uh, incorporated in this. Some safety features like well, uh, unfortunately, totally I don't safe. think scooters and motorbikes can come with airbags. That yeah. hasn't happened yet. Yeah. But um, I, I think I completely agree with you that the roads in Mumbai, especially, can be way better. Yeah. Um, like I just answered that first question. I do cycle around Mumbai a lot, yes. uh, and it is quite a a problem, mm -hmm. the roads. Uh, but that is a separate issue that has nothing much to do with the safety of this bike. That's an issue into itself. No. Um, and as far as women riding uh, bikes, actually you see women riding scooters and riding bikes all the time. Yeah. Uh, and I think just as long as you're aware of your surroundings, you're aware of the fact that unfortunately the roads are bad, you know, <laughs> uh, and you just take care of yourself, uh, that you should be okay. But I don't see any reason why women should not ride it for... Thank you. Hi, this is Priyanka. Oh, and it comes with its own helmet, I've been told. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Hello, this is Priyanka. My question is to brand people, what's the cost of the scooter? Scooty. Cost of a scooter would be Marastra 87,000 rupee, more or less 86, 87, dealer price, uh, the sh showroom price, out of which I say the $50 will go for the initiative. 7,000 INR. Sorry? No, I think she got it wrong. She said 7,000. Ah, no, no, 87,000. <laughs> <laughs> 7,000, too low. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do we have any more questions? Okay, the gentleman here in the black shirt. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Aman Ahmed from BBC Top Gear. 
Uh, my first question is, uh, could you share with us the amount Vespa has donated to this uh, cause uh, till date? Oh, so far, globally, I cannot tell you. Uh, let me say, tie up with, uh, Vespa, with the Red organization uh, globally is there since uh, one and a half year ago, if I remember well. To be honest, total contribution, I cannot, I cannot say. All right, and uh, just to check on what is the specification of the scooter, is this the 125 or the 150? Yeah. Or 125. This is the 125, so will it also be available as a 150 or will it just be available as this, the VXL 125? As initial launch, we are thinking about this engine displacement, but going on, we could think also about uh, expanding gamma to 150, but initially it is 125. Okay, thank you. All right, the lady to our right. Uh, Sir, will you help me out telling me that what is the size of the market and what is the size of the Vespa's market, Sh market you share? You mean uh, overall, yeah. not Vespa? Yeah. Market okay. share. No. Um, I would say um, we at Piaggio like to see at Vespa as, uh, how to say, a product different from the other one. So, in because it's the only scooter in the market with the full sheet metal body, not plastic, full of technology there, a uh, lot of, uh, let me say, uh, features good for customer experience. So we do not measure the success of a brand of the product in terms of market share. We, let me say, we see that a lot of potential is there. We are quite satisfied with the results that we have got so far. We have more than double sales with respect to last year. We are doubling our sales network. We see a lot of happy customers. Word of mouth is very, is, very, is very good. Out of the product, we see a lot of comments on web that we feel proud of riding a Vespa every day. This is our, let me say, what makes us proud. Uh, for people of my generation, uh, I'm a great fan of your acting. You're a very versatile actor. When can we see you back to directing movies? Uh, well, well um, this is a completely <laughs> separate kind of discussion to be had. But um, I have very fond memories of making Dil Chata in Goa. Um, I have many fond memories of coming to Goa subsequently after that on many, many occasions. Um, I look forward to coming back there. And I'll come meet you and we'll go for a Vespa ride together. Yeah, that's you. That's you in Goa. I think that was all we wanted. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually all the time that we have for this morning. So it is a wrap. Farhan, thank you so much for supporting this noble cause. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have one final round of applause for the Vespa Red and the Red Revolution? <laughs> Courtney, Diego, Mr. Ashish, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations on the launch of the Vespa Red. I think we need to get a couple of good shots of you for the next 30 seconds. 30 seconds. has been served in the pre-function area. Have a great rest of the day and thank you very much.